Sniping on Rust just hits so different. But anyway, what's going on, guys? It's Premier here. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully, you guys are all having a beautiful and wonderful day. And welcome back to another Call of Duty Modern Warfare video. But yeah, real quick, I want to thank you guys so much for all the support in my last video. I don't know why that video is doing so well right now, but I just really appreciate it. So thank you guys. I woke up this morning and the video was just doing absolutely insane. We got a bunch of brand new subscribers, and I really do appreciate it. But yeah, if you guys are brand new to the channel and you do like the content that you see, please consider subscribing. It always helps me out. Really close to 1,000 subscribers, and just being able to hit that by like the end of the month would be absolutely insane. I mean, you don't have to subscribe or leave likes or anything like that, but the shit is free. So anyway, last night I ended up unlocking the Graw 556, so that's probably what we're gonna make this video on today. I've heard so many good things about this. Like, everybody that I've seen make a video on it so far is just praising the shit out of it. Basically calling this weapon like a top five weapon in the game. So we're gonna test this shit out today, alright? I'm only level nine with it, so I don't really have all the attachments or anything. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I really do enjoy playing on Rust, but there are some questionable spawns that's going on. I've been in some lobbies with some people saying that they completely fucked this map up and a bunch of other things. I just don't think they played Modern Warfare 2 recently because this map wasn't perfect on Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, this thing actually does pretty good damage. It doesn't have a super fast fire rate, but I will say that this thing can actually do some shit. I don't know how to pronounce this weapon, but I would definitely say that it's pretty decent. I feel like the only thing that holds it back is the fire rate. Okay. Akimbo pistol's long range, it's not even a contest. It's like when Obi-Wan told Anakin not to try it because he had the high ground. And of course, I gotta get killed by some little nerdy fuck. I know it was a part of the original Modern Warfare 2 and a lot of people did sit up there. Like I've said many times, I really just think this game is extremely campy. I will admit the scenery up here is breathtaking. I'm starting to get that beautiful sensation of getting extremely irritated with this game today. Don't they have that new Boneyard map in Ground War? I'm gonna try to get on that. So yeah, this Ground War map has Scrapyard in it. Not gonna lie, this map is actually kinda cool. I know it's from a Modern Warfare 2 mission. All they wanna do is just get to Scrapyard, that's it. Scrapyard actually looks kinda fire. This is like running down nostalgia a lane for me right now. I have a pretty good feeling that they're gonna end up adding Scrapyard into just regular multiplayer. I mean, even if they don't, you can technically still play Scrapyard in Modern Warfare. Push up, push up, get those tags. This man's literally fucking yelling, push up, push up, get those tags. Hey, dude, it's a regular pub match. It's not that serious, all right? It's just kill confirmed. Relax. Get turned on, kid. fuck is this game, man? There's no way that that's fun to you. I don't know, the campers in this game, man, they're evolving. They're taking new routes, doing new shit, bringing accessories into battle. I know that this is nothing new when it comes to modern warfare. It's like seeing hentai for the first time. You're kind of intrigued, a little bit impressed, but overall, you're mostly just disgusted, all right? This kid is gonna die by a fucking grenade, by the way. Oh, you think C4 is gonna help your dumb ass? So yeah, if you guys played Season 2 so far, what do you guys think? My personal opinions is I'm really enjoying Season 2, although the player base of this game and the way people play it stays the same. I like the fact with this whole new Season 2, there's a lot more fun things that I can do, especially, well, I mean, I can run around and Kimbo pistols and shit. What other attachments can I put on this thing just to mess with it? I had the Merc 4 grip on earlier. I could actually have a 12 gauge on this? Alright, yeah, let's just throw this on. I guarantee it's probably dog shit, but we gotta try this out. I just wanna test out everything that I can with this, just because I know that I'm probably never gonna run around with this thing after I make this video. Oh yeah, by the way, I forgot to bring this up in my my last video. I know a lot of people already know about this and it's been talked about quite a bit recently, but I guess Battle Royale is coming pretty soon. Like the whole entire rumor right now, because what do you do? Load into Modern Warfare for the first time after downloading this update. There is like this whole entire scene where we're like zooming out. It shows like every single ground war map and people are like diving out of planes and shit. I'd actually be pretty hyped to have a Battle Royale in this game. This underbarrel is actually kind of nutty. I'm going to try to 360 off this shit and hit somebody with the shotgun. Technically, we weren't that far off. I don't really know how they're gonna do the Battle Royale. I guess they could do it very similar to how they did Blackout. I just wonder how they're gonna do it, especially with guns like the M4 and the MP5, because they're just clearly better than anything else. There could be a massive weapon balancing issue when it comes to BR in this game. If Battle Royale does come to Modern Warfare, I probably will play it a couple of times. I didn't really play a whole lot of Blackout. I'm definitely gonna at least try it out, make a couple of videos on it or so. So the Grove 556, it's pretty decent. I definitely wouldn't say that it's better than the M4 or the M13, but it's pretty decent 
for being a brand new assault rifle. I guarantee with some of these barrels that you have on here could make this thing unbelievably good, especially with a monolithic suppressor as well and extended mags. It's just nice to have a new assault rifle. It's nice to keep the game refreshing and it's pretty damn fun to use. If you're looking for something to compete with the M4, this probably won't be it. Depending on some of the attachments later on, once I actually grind this thing out and get all the attachments for it, I'll probably let you guys know. But I just want to make a video on this just because it's something new and something fun for the day, even though Rust really did piss me off. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like and subscribe if you guys feel like it. Hope the rest of your day is the absolute best of your day, guys. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, my blood, bye.